pressure, water, and wind, and erosion. So it took millions of years using those same elements. I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys here in just several minutes, okay? So come forward, you guys, get closer here. Oh. All right, you guys. So you're gonna get all the sand here, like I was talking about. This is petrified sand. You see how fine that is? Really fine sand here. You get sand piling up into a sand dune, just like that. You get pressure, you get debris, like that, pushing down. Then you'll get rain, centuries, thousands of years of rain. Now watch how the sand almost constant, almost instantly absorbs the water. <laughs> See that? Now, this is how the canyon was formed from this point forward here. You get a layer of wet sand. You get wind blowing in sand just like this. See that? Now what that does is it pushes down on that bottom layer, compacts it. That's how you get your layers of sandstone. Now notice each layer is in constant flow in one direction. It's all different directions depending on which, um, which way the wind was blowing. Okay? So, like I was talking about, you get this giant piece of sandstone here. Okay, you put it in the middle of a wash. You guys saw the wash on the other side? You see the wash here. Now notice on both sides of the wash, you see how high the sand dune is? The same height as the canyon. So the sand was the same height as the canyon and it runs a river, not a river, but um, a little pathway through the sandstone. You see that? And that's the water carving the sandstone, just like that. Then it went further down, deeper and deeper, exposing the sandstone deeper into the canyon. So you get your wash here, just like this. Then you get another wash, just like that. Okay, you guys see that? Yeah? Now you get all the wind and water washing away the sand here, exposing the sandstone. And that's how you get sandstone. Cool, huh? <laughs> now, how the sandstone here gets hard like rock. Have you guys ever made mud balls? You leave it in the sun for a few hours, you go back to it, and it's hard like a rock. Same process here. Each layer will bake in the sun, become hard like rock, and toxic to each other. The higher the sandstone got, the more pressure it pushes down on those layers. Okay? Now you get this here. How the walls inside become so smooth, like I was explaining, the water brings in a lot of sand, just like this. And it pushes the sand against the walls, like sandpaper. See that? Then further through time, wind will go through, and wind, like I was saying, can guess up to 40, even 50 miles per hour in the canyon. And that smoothens out the walls even more. Just like that. You see that? Same process on how the canyon walls get so smooth inside. So, you guys remember that little pathway I made with the key indicating that's the water sinking and in, digging into the sandstone here? That's where we get erosion from. It goes deeper and deeper all the way through the sandstone, wider and wider. Just like this. Okay? Now if you guys look here, 